Alright, it is look back time again, and as you can probably tell by the title screen, we are looking at Contra by Konami. Uh, this is the Xbox Live port of this game, and this is one of those games that if you were to ask me what I really remember about this game, the honest truth is I don't remember a lot about this game as a kid, uh, mainly because, you know, I played it once, you know, I played it when it first came out, that was really about it, but I didn't play it as religiously as most people did. The reason being is because I wasn't really a big shooter fan back then, I was more of a fan of Super Mario Brothers, Sonic the Hedgehog, you know, those type of games. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, it's going to be a really interesting experience, because I really don't remember much about it. Um, I've had a little bit of playing time with it to kind of get used to the um, gameplay and the controls, that way I don't sound like a complete moron when playing this game. I might die a lot because, you know, I'm not really good at playing and talking at the same time, but, you know, just to give you guys a really good look at what the game's like on Xbox, you know, on Xbox Live. Uh, before we get started, let's take a look at the additions that Microsoft made to the menu screen here. You got your Xbox Live game selection here. This is, uh, you got your quick match, you got create a match, you got private match, you know, traditional stuff. Before we end the look back, we might take a look at the quick match. I have yet to really see what that's like. Um, then you got the traditional Xbox Live Edition, which is the leaderboards. Right now we rank 377,164. So yeah, I'm far down there. Um, then you got the achievements. I've only gotten one. I've had a little bit of playing time, but not really too much to really get the achievements. And this is actually a really small uh, list of achievements. There's only 12. That's actually rather small. So yeah, that's about it. Let's get started. Pretty simple stuff. Just hit A to start. Now, unlike most Xbox Live ports, um, this game does not run off the trigger buttons, which is really unusual. Usually it kind of does that. Uh, you operate mainly off the D-pad and the action buttons. Um, first, let me show you guys. If you hit up, you shoot straight up. If you hit up and left, you shoot you shoot up and left, you hit up and right, you shoot up and right. Same thing for down, right and down, left and down. The only difference is you cannot shoot straight down. Hitting down on the D-pad will force you to lay down so you can lay down and shoot. Uh, that's about the only difference there. And let's see if we can make it across the bridge. B to jump. Oh, I'm gonna die. Yep. That was horribly timed by on my part. And really, it's basic gameplay. Just pretty much shoot anything in your path, really. I'm trying to get rid of this without leaving the screen. There we go. Oh, I tried to jump out of the way. No luck. There we go. Get rid of this dude on top. Got it. There we go. Again, pretty basic stuff to shoot anything in your path. You know, it's a basic shooter gameplay. This is probably... This is both cool and kind of annoying because I hate this perspective. Um, the, this uh, third-person perspective works great for games today. Not so much now. <laughs> And really, with this one, you just kind of have to keep moving because you're, they just throw everything at you. And, you know, you're going to end up dying left and right. I'm going to end up dying a lot because I'm not really good at talking and playing at the same time. Something I'm still trying to get used to. You have to really keep your eye on everything to make sure you don't get hit. Which I'm not doing too bad so far. Uh, these particular modes are not really that hard. I think the only real challenge that comes with this, again, you really have to avoid everything. Ah, oh, God. Oh, God. Thought I was doing okay. There we go. Again, just keep moving. Pray to God that you don't, um, 
get hit by anything. Really standing still is kind of a problem. You have to really avoid standing still. There we go. Got to do that. This is my least favorite right here. Mainly because it is tough to dodge anything. Oh god, I keep meaning to jump on time, but I never can do it. Oh god! There we go. Is that the end? No, it's not. Come on, I can get through this, I know I can. I'm just shooting randomly here. I'm not really good at this, so I'm just shooting random bullets, hoping to God that I can hit it. And really, that's all you can do here, because... It's, oh God, I ran right into that. Oh God. That thing does not like me whatsoever. God! Holy shit! Holy shit! <laughs> I'm like, trying to avoid this thing, it's tough. Aw, oh, damn, we lost that one. That's actually really tough! It's addicting, though! It's really addicting! I kind of enjoy- I kind of enjoy that. Um... So we went through that. Um, as it shows us the, kind of the video of the game, um, really went through that once, if I had to say anything about it, it's really addicting, I enjoy it, you know, from a graphical standpoint, it's your typical kind of 8-bit looking side-scroller, uh, some age well, some don't, this one's aged pretty well, it's really kind of colorful, graphics look okay. Um, some of it does kind of tend to age. The controls haven't really aged well. I'm not really enjoying the fact that you can't really shoot straight down, but you can shoot straight up. You can shoot at every angle, but you can't shoot straight down. That's kind of a bother to me, I think. Um, but besides that, you know, the gameplay is addicting. You know, it's a basic act action game. You know, just shoot everything in your path, pretty much. And I really enjoy that aspect of gameplay. It's actually kind of cool. But yeah, let's go back. Uh, to the main screen, let's take a look at Xbox Live, take a look at Quick Match, see if we can find anything. No games were found. Okay. Okay, so it's, this is pretty much it. It's just a co-op match, pretty much. It's not really, you know, your death match type of thing. Uh, it's pretty much co-op, which is kind of cool, you know. Um, not sure how co-op would really work in an older game like this. You know, co-op works in, well with games now. Um... You know, co-op games back then, some were kind of fit and miss, some worked out well, some didn't. Um, I can only assume that this game, you know, works out well. I've seen a lot of, I've heard a lot of people playing co-op on this, so I'm pretty sure it works out pretty well. But, yeah, it's a pretty quick look back, you know, Contra. It's addicting. And, you know what, when it's addicting, that means it's cool, it's cool with me. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for listening, and I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.